Have you ever reached a point in your life where you have quite simply had enough? On March 3, 1787, Richard Allen had had enough. Richard was born into slavery, but by working odd jobs late into the night, he was able to save enough money to buy his freedom. And what he wanted to be was a Methodist preacher. By the time he was 20, he was given permission to be a lay preacher at St. George's Methodist Episcopal Church in Philadelphia, and that was fine, as long as he held his services at 5 o'clock in the morning. Well, apparently the services were pretty good, because soon he had a large congregation of black worshipers, and they were given permission to join with the white worshipers at the church, as long as they built themselves a separate balcony. Well, about three years into that, Richard was kneeling in prayer, one Sunday morning when he heard a scuffle behind him. He turned to see some of his friends being pulled from their knees in prayer by the trustee board who told them that they would no longer be allowed to pray on the main floor and needed to be in their own balcony. At that point Richard had had enough and he and his friends left St. George's Methodist Episcopal and went down to 6th Street in Philadelphia where they bought some property. That property is the longest continuously black owned property in the United States and on it sits Mother Bethel African Methodist Episcopal Church which Richard Allen founded. You know all the stories from the history of the church are not pretty and this is one of them. Galatians tells us that there is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, that we are all one in Christ Jesus but we haven't always lived what we say we believe. So how do you deal with situations when we don't see what is right being lived out before us? I think Hebrews has some good advice. Listen to two things that the author tells us. In Hebrews 3.13 he says this, Encourage one another so that none of you becomes hardened through sin's deceitfulness. When we see things that we know are wrong, it is very easy for us to become hardened and we need the encouragement of other believers to keep ourselves soft before the Lord. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 2 also says this, that we need to be able to deal gently with those who are ignorant and going astray because we remember that we also are subject to, we to weakness. So that's some good advice for us. We need people to keep us encouraged and we need to remember to deal gently with those who are ignorant. But here's one other thing I would say, that we want to be able to work together to build the kind of church that truly is a representative of what God's kingdom looks like. And we see a glimpse of that kingdom in the book of Revelation where it says that they sang a new song, Worthy is the Lamb, for He has redeemed for Himself some out of every tribe, every tongue, every nation, and every people. You know, I think the church ought to look a lot like heaven, filled with people of every tribe, tongue, nation, and people. What are you doing today to make your church a little bit of heaven on earth. Hmm, something to think about. So maybe today, like Richard Allen, you need to be one who makes some history and makes the church look a little bit more like heaven.